Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to talk to you about something, well, I this has been a requested video by several people and I just had a wonderful woman stop by. She picked up some kefir grains from me. Hi Debbie, I hope you're watching. And uh, she asked me how long I'd been promising this video because she was getting kefir grains and she wanted to know how to take care of them. So today's the day, I'm gonna do it. So um, I wanna talk a little bit about kefir first. This is a jar of kefir, it's been sitting on my counter. Um, kefir is a culture, it's a milk culture. And you leave it out on your counter, it does not get soured. Um, as long as there's kefir grains in there, it's going to um, create the culture of the grains inside there. Kefir is actually delicious. It has a little bit of a tart flavor. I make smoothies out of it. It ha is very beneficial for your gut bacteria. Um, if you have digestive problems, kefir is wonderful. My husband and I usually have a kefir smoothie at night and we just sleep really well. Um, but it is full of nutrients. Uh, it, I mean, it has all kinds of uh, health benefits. Um, so let's get started on how to feed and care for your kefir grains. Kefir grains are alive. So I'm gonna show you this jar up close. If you can see here, mine has set out a little longer than it should have, but it started to separate there. And that means that my kefir grains have eaten up the milk sugars in the milk, because that's what they feed on. So they're saying, let me out of here so uh and give me some more food so that's what i'm going to do sometimes the pressure builds up in there so you might let the pressure off or if you don't you have to take a little spoon and let it off so the lid will come off so this is my kefir and kefir grains now kefir grains you can use in a smoothie or something but they actually are going to i'm going to use those to make more kefir um I'll show you what those look like. Let's, uh, I'm gonna move my camera closer so that you can actually see what this looks like. All right, here we have, I'll put this over here so that you can see better. Um, okay, the grains are, they're pretty durable. So what I'm gonna do is it kinda has, uh, it kinda looks like rice pudding actually. Kefir grains look like little grains of rice. So I have a strainer and I'm stirring around my kefir with my grains. I want to separate the kefir from the grains so I can use the kefir, and I will actually use this this evening to make a smoothie out of. I'm gonna add cherries and pineapple and bananas to mine tonight. So you just stir this around. Kefir grains, like I said, the they're pretty durable, so I'm just gonna smush and stir until I'm all the kefir is out and the grains are what's left in my strainer. And you can see that the kefir that's coming out is really thick and creamy. That's how I like it. Now, if yours isn't thick and creamy, that means that you haven't let it sit long enough on your counter. And the more kefir grains you have, the faster it will make kefir. Okay, I've gotten most of the kefir off of these grains. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna hold up a spoonful up to the camera, but you can see these look like little grains of rice. Cottage cheese maybe, or rice pudding. Um, and that's what your kefir grains look like. Now, some of them kind of stick together all right, and that's not near all of it, so I'm just gonna keep pouring though until I get all the kefir strained out and the kefir grains separated. This is making quite a bit of kefir. I usually use a quart jar. It, when you first get your kefir grains, usually you don't, you have a little over a teaspoon of them. Um, when I have extra kefir grains, I do sell them uh, but these are pretty durable and I this is my first bunch of kefir grains and they've multiplied and multiplied and I've divided them out and sold them off shared them with family and friends um, 
if for some reason you need to go out of town or something and you want your kefir because it'll make kefir in about 24 48 hours but if you're going to go out of town you want to put your kefir in the refrigerator give it some fresh milk put it in the refrigerator and it could sit there for a week possibly two um, without without you doing anything to it and uh, it'll be fine in there until you get back in town or what it done or sometimes actually I do that because I just my kefir makes so fast because I have so many grains uh, that okay still got a little bit of kefir coming out of here I like to get the grains as clean as I can now there's something I'm going to show you my kefir grains do not need a bath but in the instance that your kefir just the grains just don't get you know separate and you can't really see them and they're kind of gooey I have given my kefir grains a bath twice um, especially if you've left them sit on your counter too long and you haven't changed the milk or fed them that can be an issue so um, I'm gonna set these I'm gonna show them to you again that's kefir grains Okay, I'm going to put them back in the jar for now so they can make more kefir and I will get more than a pint out of this I'm sure look how thick that is that is deliciousness and your body loves it okay I'll have to get me another jar after a while now this will go in the refrigerator and the longer it sits in there the tartar it will get but it actually keeps stable for a very long time okay now I want to talk to you about giving kefir grains a bath all right so these if your kefir grains get really coated and you don't think they're gonna work right work correctly you can put them in your little strainer and I have a bowl I have distilled water do not use tap water because there's too many chemicals in it and you could kill off your kefir grains so I'm gonna stir them in here like this just with that little bit of water in the bottom and it rinses them off and they get a fresh start so here's my rinsed off kefir grains okay they didn't need a bath but I just gave them a bath so I could show you what that looked like okay and then that water that we rinsed them in we'll just throw away or you could give it to chickens or dogs or cats or something if they want it um okay i'm going to put these back in my jar ever so often i change jars and wash that so but i don't need to today so i'm using raw milk you don't have to but i use raw milk i did not used to use raw milk on my kefir grains um and I'm going to fill my jar up. Actually, I'll open another milk later, but I'll fill it up to about here on the jar. Um, but this is fine. You can do, you know, with whatever you have. Um, I'm going to put the lid on. And like I said, if I let this sit several days, I will want to let the pressure off. I'm going to put it in a dark, cool place on my counter. And let it sit and it will make kefir so this kefir that is done I want to put in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it this is beautiful it actually um, is delicious let me change my camera here it's delicious and it makes for a great dessert after dinner um, this kefir will go back in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it which will be this evening um, it is delicious it's good for you if you haven't ever tried kefir try it try some fruit or something in it um, I was told by uh, my friend that stopped by to get kefir grains that if she gets vinegars and I do too from the vinegar store and she has one that is peach and she said it's absolutely delicious to just put a little bit of that in your kefir and drink it you don't need a lot if you're not if you've not had kefir before go at it slowly because um, then your your digestive system can adjust to it so anyway um here is my feeding and care of kefir grains i hope that uh it helped you 
and uh, I hope you'll get some kefir grains and try it because it's really good for you. Thanks so much for joining me today.